Welcome back to Oregon Makers. I've got another wine cellar build. This is actually the install. Um, I'll put links to the racks you see here on how I made those uh, in the video and at the end. So let's go in and take a look at the space. It's tight. It's about 15 feet deep, 40 inches wide, and it's under a staircase. You can kind of see the slope there. And we're just going to work from one end to the other. This is by far the hardest part of the whole install is getting the racks to stand up by themselves. So I've got a framing square clamped to that end rack and then I'm just putting another rack arbitrarily down. You can see it tipped over. And just lining up uh, two of the back nailers. Once I get that kind of laid in, I can then start spacing out all the ladders. I'm using little wood blocks that are cut to the right size. And I'm just grabbing the next one and clamping it in there. It's kind of tipping over on me again. And that's now I'm going to put some nails on the front, on the baseboard in the front, and that will kind of give it a little bit more rigidity, make it a little easier moving on. The tight fit is the hard part. I can't really stage a lot of the ladders because then I don't have room to walk around. So I've got to kind of hop over. down and nail it and then hop back over. My uh, thighs were killing me the next day. I'm just kind of sliding around. So I can't really slide it too far down because the roof line drops. So I've got just, just kind of wiggle my way in and out of there. Makes for an interesting fit. But the advantage is this is taking advantage of the dead space in your house, right? So putting a wine cellar under the stairs is a great idea. This is new construction. Uh, this room was purposely built to be a wine cellar. Basically they stole 40 inches from the garage. And we've got a good portion of the tall racking going in. And then I get a visit. Can you be able to get out? <laughs> well, you got the camera going. You got I, I like your those videos are cool. Yeah, good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's gonna st store a lot of wine, man. Yeah. I didn't realize it was gonna even be that much. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go, go. Let's see. Oh, I gotta start putting Little small talk. His parents were over for yeah. dinner. I'm working into the late afternoon as you can see the sun barreling in there. And bringing in more of the, I've gotten to the point where I'm at the next stage down of the height. Makes it a little easier to work with. And just kind of chug along. So I'm going to nail some nailers on the back. And then I'll push the rack to the other side of the wall and then nail all the fronts and then tie everything together. But I kind of run out of camera space here, so this is going to be pretty much the end of me working. And then I'll show you the reveal here. Check out this bad boy. It's the Beaver golf cart. Pretty cool. So let me show you the wine cellar. Really tough to photograph and video. So in through the cart garage. 
So I've got half diamond bends on the left. And the reason for that is there's climate control in here, which is kind of nice. The set of racking is all eight feet. And then because the space gets smaller, because it's basically built under the stairs, um, the racking gets smaller, so it's like cascaded down. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. And then at the back end, I have a little diamond bin, single diamond, which there's videos for both the diamond bins. And this video is going to be kind of short just because it's so darn hard to film in basically a 40 inch wide closet. But got one bottle of wine there on the display shelf. And this is all insulated and climate controlled. A uh, different climate. This is in the Willamette Valley of Oregon, so definitely need a cooler. Unlike the previous cellar, which was at the beach, doesn't really need it. So, there you go. Another wine cellar build. <laughs>